Hello everyone, are we ready to resume bumbling through Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup? I am. Let's resume playing the game as Zappy, the still level 7 Dream Draconian Wizard of Vermet. Alright, when we last left off, we just finished exploring the Inner Miracle Temple. We learned that that's kind of like the in-game pantheon of gods, so it's kind of handy for people who don't yet have a religion to pick up one and start getting benefits of faith. <sighs> Speaking of our benefit of faith, we still haven't gotten any more favour with Vermet, which is a little dis- oh, a sky beast. Sky beasts are fascinating creatures in the sense that they drop mutagenic meat. If I eat any of the meats they drop, there's a chance that it will mutate me. Let's throw up a wall of fire before picking a fight and then start pummeling it with our copious stores of magic points. It didn't drop any corpses, so that's a shame. Let's cast Conjure Flame here and kill the snake while keeping it at bay. Yep, this is going pretty good. Let's see if we can learn any more spells. Alright. Ignite poison is terrible. Mepitic cloud is good. Slow is... Very good. And... Ig and all the other high level spells are utterly useless. I've got 8 spell levels left, so... It'd be a shame if they all went to waste. Let's learn slow, just in case I encounter a monster which is hard to run away from, such as the centaur. And since I've already got a bonus with poison, I actually think I get some benefits from Mepidic Cloud since I'm a green draconian, so let's learn that just because I can. Right, let's resume and cast our new card. Nope, we don't want to use it since it's not in range. Let's cast it there. Come on, we can cast this spell. So it's like my breath weapon, only with an AoE splash attack at the end. Let's hit him with a splash attack. Now if I have a look, I've got a plus two aptitudes to poison magic. So I think it's a little bit worth it to get some skill in that. Even though experienced players will scream at me saying how useless poison magic is and whatever. I'll just wait here until I'm back up to full magic points so I'll be able to completely encounter my next opponents with a greater deal of proficiency. Alright, so down here, Shattered Altar of Ash and Zari. While it seems inconceivable that the Divine could be shackled, he's a god which is purposely nailed to the sky for eternity. The unbudging god is all-knowing, all-seeing. Devoted worshippers are allowed to grasp sheds this knowledge and foresight, but be warned. Power and blessing and curse are all the same thing. So this is a unique god. Ashen Zari actually gives benefits to you if you wear cursed equipment. And, depending upon the amount of cursed equipment you wear, the greater the benefit. He's a very strange god. And I don't believe I had a look at Kiku Bakweda. So, let's have a look at Kiku Bakweda. He's a demon god. Indulging the powers of death and... Requires the deaths of living creatures and demons. So, just your standard demon god of death who enjoys you killing his own kind. What a fascinating god. We've already got a god, so we don't feel the need to worship. Giant frogs, kind of dangerous. They're fast like snakes, but if you hold them at bay with fire, then they can just be sniped, just like any other monster. Yes. And if you met, the discerning eye will notice that my wall of fire is actually starting to last a little bit longer. That's because I'm becoming a little bit better with fire magic. And that's a good thing. We all want to be fed better at fire magic. Oh, crap, a centaur. Let's cast slow on the centaur. And then cast repel missiles on ourselves. And then start killing the centaur. 
Oh dear, let's quaff a potion of heal wounds. Let's quaff another potion of heal wounds. And kill the centaur. I am so glad that I killed that centaur. I honestly thought I was going to die then. Centaurs are just insanely dangerous. And that stupid little kobold wants to step up, so we'll just beat him down. He had a glowing orcish short sword, so I guess I kind of underestimated his weapon. Let's pick up his sword, not pick up his corpse, and pick up this regular bow. And all the arrows the centaur had. I'm hungry, so let's butcher his corpse and then devour his flesh. Alright, now we've got a missile weapon. Well, I think we had a missile weapon before in the form of darts, but whatever. Speaking of which, I should actually quiver my darts because they're a lot better to throw than rocks are if I need to start throwing stuff which is not spells. Alright, scroll. I've got two scrolls of that. Two unidentified scrolls of Nagon Uchu, but I'm not going to cast them yet. At least until I know this level is safe, it might teleport me to a random location, and I believe there's a secret door here. Well, there may be a secret door there. Let's. No. Well, it looks like the center of flesh decayed. That's a pity. Prince Ribbit. Prince Ribbit is a named mobster, which I'm kind of afraid of, actually. Let's see if I can confuse him with the Mepidic Cloud, and then... Yes. He's kind of a coward. He runs away if you kind of beat him up. He's very fast, though. I don't want to cause too much problems with him. There he is again. He's still confused, I believe. Right, so instead of casting a spell, let's breathe Noxus Fumes at him, and then... Alright, we killed Prince Ribbit. We've gained air magic and poison magic. Don't think I want air magic too much, so I'll just turn that off. And I'll keep poison magic on for now, but I won't... Actually, no. I'm going to turn off poison magic. That's absorbing experience points from other bits. Ah, here's a little vault. We've got water to the left and lava to the right. White imp. Let's just throw darts at it. It's not a very scary monster, just one which I could easily beat down. I'm a little bit nervous about walking too close to the water since. There might be nasty monsters. I'm very hungry and meat rations are heavy, but I guess I'll just leave it there. And lo and behold, there's a red imp to the left. Sorry, to the right, and we just slaughtered it. Let's go and pick up the treasure in that little vault and continue exploring dungeon level 6. Alright, 31% of the way to the next level. Let's try to finish exploring this dungeon level before I call a break. This is the part of the game where I'm starting to slow down and become a little bit more cautious. The enemies on this level are serious business and they will cause the death of me if I'm not careful. Not that there was much of a difference. Oh, why am I just walking into dart traps? There's like darts everywhere. Is that? Or, ah, that leads to our first dungeon branch, the Orcish Mines. The Orcish Mines are a formidable dungeon branch which has lots and lots of powerful orc enemies in it. Very dangerous, very scary, and have I finished exploring this level? Whoops. I believe I have. But, if I descend down another staircase, I might appear here, or here, or somewhere else which is dark. So I don't believe I've completely explored this dungeon level. I'm a little bit worried about the Orcish Mines, though. I've 
descended into them unprepared several times before and just met my utter demise. So, am I feeling foolish? When am I not feeling foolish? This is the strategy I'm going to do with the orcish mines. I'm going to descend down the staircase and then just stand on the staircase. If I see any orcs, I'm going to throw magic at them until they die. And then, once it seems clear, then I'm going to proceed. I've got to be very careful of such enemies as orcish warlords because they're extremely talented with the bow and will just slaughter me if I decide to get cocky. Let's put on repel missiles just in case. And let's summon an imp. I don't think that they follow me down to the next level, but I can't remember. Actually, they do. And there's Sigmund. Sigmund is a friend. Um, actually, no, he's not. He's an evil, 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 evil bastard who just mercilessly kills the unprepared. So he's dangerous. Let's have a look and see what the immediate enemies are. We've got an orc warrior. He's very dangerous. Sigmund is the bane of all young adventurers. And we've got an orc wizard. I'm a little bit nervous about the orc wizard because he's probably going to do something to disable me. Alright. Let's see what's in range of my mepidic cloud. Nothing. Alright. Priority target being the mage first. Definitely the mage. I believe Sigmund has the power to vanish, so if it looks like he's getting close to me, I'll retreat. I want I'm willing to expend a charge of my wand of cold to help me slaughter the wizard. So Wish me luck, everyone. I'm going to do something suicidal. Alright, now I've got an Orc Priest in view. Orc Priests are a little bit less dangerous than Orc Wizards, but they can start damaging me immediately. Great, I'm confused. That's the thing I didn't want to happen. Let's try to retreat back up. Oh yeah, you can see immediately how quickly that's got out of hand. It's very nasty. Yep, and I stood on a teleportation trap. That room is just stuffed full of traps. I'm near starving. Oh, well. I've got several meterations, and I guess I'll just consume one of those. Alright. I want to be more prepared before I enter the Orcish Mines. So let's go up and descend down another staircase. As I explained in one of my much earlier videos, staircases with an asterisk on them are staircases I have not descended down. That was utterly useless. The idea, the game plan is that before I reach level 10, I want to get at least some way of detecting invisible enemies because at level 10 that's when enemies start becoming invisible and employing devious traps. Let's go down the escape hatch and see where that leads and absolutely nowhere. Well we've encountered our first dungeon branch and before we head back to the orc caves I want to gain a couple more levels and perhaps learn one of my handy super fire spells Bolt of Fire does a lot more damage than Magic Dart, which I've just been casting at the moment. In order to move that beyond terrible, I need to train up in Conjuration and or Fire. And that's exactly what I'm doing at the moment. I'll turn off Unarmed Combat because I don't want to train that up in the least. Let's just have a quick look around. Ha! <laughs> Stupid orc. Who do you think I am? And next episode we'll descend down to dungeon level 7. 
As usual, thanks for watching everyone and I hope you all have a pleasant day.